We're back with another indoor smoker recipe. This time we're gonna do an outdoor classic inside. It's over the top chili. Let's do it. Over the top chili is where you smoke the meat over top of the chili base in your smoker and you get all those drippings and wonderful flavorings into the chili during the smoke. And then you add the meat to the chili at the end for a really hearty, rich smoked chili. So ingredients today, uh, we're gonna we're gonna wing it a little, little bit. Honestly, I've never made two pots of chili exactly the same, but we're gonna do 80-20 ground beef in a ball over the top. Uh, for our base, obviously we're gonna do tomatoes, some beans, I know that's controversial for some. We're gonna do some beans, a little beef broth, of course chili powder, and uh, we've got our rub, we'll walk through all that, and some fresh ingredients, onions, garlic. Today I'm gonna try some guajillo chilies that I bought dehydrated from a local Mexican grocery store. I'm gonna rehydrate those and add it. I already mentioned the meat is smoking over the top, but you're gonna need some sort of container for the chili base itself. And you got quite a few options. I mean, you've got these kind of throwaway foil uh, liners. You've got some, you know, it's, we got Valentine's Day right around the corner. So you got some really interesting options if you wanna spice it up. Other options, today I'm gonna to use this uh, just porcelain baking dish. Uh, this fits great. Uh, in terms of dimensions that you want to look for, it's somewhere around seven and a half to eight inches wide by ten and a half to maybe close to eleven inches deep. First up, I'm going to process and hydrate these chilies. My goal here is to get some of these seeds out, which I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> you notice there's a lot of seeds in there. Just kind of shake those out, get that stem out of there. All right, so there's the skin of our chili. I'm gonna cheat and go to the coffee pot to get some hot water to hydrate this chili. Okay, so I'm gonna let this chili hydrate while I dice and saute some onion and garlic. Correction, that was actually an ancho chili. Uh, you, some of you probably noticed that, uh, but I'm, I'm also gonna throw in a, a guajillo chili as well right now, because I've got both and I love chilies. So I'm just gonna do one of these as well, same process. Already got the water. Get those seeds out. There we go. Now I got guajillo and ancho chilies. I really spice it up. I'm gonna do a whole white onion and probably three cloves of garlic. Nothing too crazy. Let's see. I'm gonna do this. Embarrassing. Have people tell me how I did it wrong? Tearing up. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Correction, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do half an onion. <laughs> My eyes can't take it though. Uh, now some garlic. I'm sort of winging this. Um, these are ingredients that I think belong in chili, but I know there are a lot of differences. I would love to hear some uh, foolproof chili recipes from you guys. Uh, follow these techniques, same techniques. You can add some smoke to it, bring kind of the outdoors indoors. That's really the point of this, but uh, anyway, I'm just kind of winging it. Now while I'm waiting for the stove to come up the temp, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up these peppers. So this is the ancho chili. It smells good, it's got a nice kind of earthy, smoky smell. Hmm. Be a nice addition, I think. You know, it sure would be nice if these knives were sharpened automatically because they are super dull. <laughs> Here's that one. Here's the guajillo chili. All right. It's appetizing. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and saute our garlic and onions. I'm gonna put the onions in first. Just use some extra virgin olive oil. While that's working, let's get started on the base. Okay, pretty simple. Start with a large can of crushed tomatoes. What is that, 28 ounces? Ooh, these are fire roasted, so it's got some, some nice char in there. It looks great. Two cans, two large 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. You could also do one crushed, one diced, you know, whatever you want. All right, we got two different beans here. We got some light red and some dark red kidney beans. I'm gonna actually drain these cause you know, that is good enough for me. Now the fun stuff, we're gonna start adding some spices. Depending on the size of your container, uh, two large cans might be too much. So you could do one 28 ounce and one 14, whatever, 14 ounce. I'm gonna take a little out because we're gonna be doing a lot of meat and I'm gonna be sure I have plenty of room for the meat because that's the, that's the star of the show. 
All right, so first ingredient, obviously chili powder. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that. Pick your favorite, it doesn't matter. Be super generous with it. I pour it like I pour whiskey. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I, you know, for this, for cumin, I love cumin. Um, I'm gonna probably do like a teaspoon. Okay. Oops. So now let's add, add a little salt. Uh, let's do, do a teaspoon of salt. Maybe half a teaspoon. And then let's add some pepper, some just plain old coarse ground black pepper. Let's mix it up. <laughs> hey, that's great. I wanted to see if it was too salty. I think it could probably use the full one teaspoon of salt. All right, let's go check on the onions and garlic. I'm gonna actually add the peppers to that as well, just to kind of cook them down, maybe release some wonderful, wonderful things. Capsaicin, various flavors. Let those onions really soften up. Uh, I think now it's probably time to work on the meatball that's gonna be over the top of the chili. Also, I forgot to mention, I like to throw a little red chili pepper flake in just because I like spice. It doesn't add a lot of flavor in my experience, but it adds a little spice, which is to me always good. So how much is that? I don't know, to taste. Uh, I'm gonna add a little beef stock now, just, you know, some rich flavor, which is what this is all about. How much, I don't know, just some. <laughs> to the consistency you like, some like thick. It's gonna cook down a little bit uh, as it smokes and as the meat smokes, but, um, you know, so not too much, but I think that should give us some really good flavor. And now to the star of the show, we're gonna use some 80-20 beef, and I'm literally just gonna make a meatball. This is two pounds, I'm just gonna use all of it. Um, one pound would be totally fine in this chili, but we're gonna go for a really beefy, hearty chili. So this is three pounds. Um, we're gonna roll with it, I don't know. We don't have to put it all in there, we can have some on the side, I don't know, appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty huge. Let's see here. My thinking on this, I don't want to like overwork it and like really pack it in tight. Um, well, it probably already is packed pretty tight, but I don't know. I'm just trying to make a meatball. It'll sit nicely on a shelf, kind of flat. I want it to be kind of low profile. About the shape of that, that pan, kind of what I'm aiming for. That's a lot of meat. It's going to be delicious. And pick your favorite rub. I like this uh, cowboy flavored seasoning, just kind of earthy and dark and really good on beef. Looks pretty good to me. Put it on our rack here. So we'll let it hang out. We're gonna probe it. So I'm gonna cook it to uh, probably one, I'm gonna cook it to 160. Um, you know, ground beef I think is done at 165. So I'm gonna take it about five degrees lower and then it's gonna go into the chili and keep cooking. So it's gonna get plenty high temp uh, to be food safe. Blend that in. We are full. This thing is full, isn't it? Next step, I think, is to get the smoker started. And I'm gonna actually hit this with a little cooking spray. Um, just a little vegetable oil. I like to keep the, the surface of the meat that I'm smoking nice and kind of moist. And I know it's plenty of fat in this ground beef, but I think that'll make the smoke flavor here a little better. Uh, so we're gonna go with that. All right, let's go start the smoker. So we're at the smoker, we're gonna start it up. I'm gonna recap how to do that. Um, number one, I'm gonna add some pellets. Today I'm gonna to use some cherry pellets. Um, we're just gonna kind of top that off, customize, and I am gonna do a probe cook. Again, I'm gonna take it to 160 internal, and I'm gonna do a smoker temp of 250. And I'm gonna do smoke level four. I don't, for this chili, I don't want it to be overpoweringly smoky. Uh, I want it to have a nice kiss of smoke and just add a, like a hearty deep flavor to the chili. So that's what I'm going for. And also note, I haven't put the probe in yet. I'm gonna start with the probe in the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and start this, let it preheat, uh, put the probe in the meat and then plug it in at the time I put the meat into the smoker. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up, add water. It's done, I've already got water in the waste bin. Pellets, you saw me do that, I got pellets. All right, now we're preheating. I'm gonna go ahead and get the probe inserted. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just take it right into the middle. Nothing more complicated than that. Make sure I got plenty of room. So 
Something I forgot to mention, if your smoker is new and you haven't used it yet, or maybe the pellets have, have fully exited the unit on a previous cook, you need to prime the auger. So I'm gonna just show you how to do that again. Real quickly, go into settings, and we're gonna go to auger, and it'll say press dial to prime pellets, and I'm gonna do that, it takes a minute and a half. Just let that go, just to make sure the tube is full of pellets so that we can maximize that smoke. And we know the prime worked because we got pellets in the water, they're not burnt, yeah, so we should be good to go. So we're gonna need a rack for the chili itself. Chili is gonna go down low. So we're gonna go lowest rack position over the drip pan. All right, so we got the chili in there, nice and, nice and ready for some meat to be above it. So this is over the top chili. Check this out. Slide that in right over top. Bring it forward just a pinch. I actually want it, because this is such a large meatball. And by the way, I might not use all three pounds in this chili. I might set some aside for another recipe, but um, hey, while we're smoking, we might as well maximize our space. So it's a three pound ball, but it's right over top of that chili. Probe is in. So that's what you're looking for. The theory behind this is that meat is gonna smoke, get some nice flavor and color, and the drippings are just gonna go into the chili and just deepen the flavor, add a smoky, just rich chili flavor, which is hard to get. You can't really get it without a smoker, so. And with that, let's get to smoking. And I'm actually at work, so I'm gonna be back at work. I'll check it on my app and monitor it throughout the cook, but I do expect two to three hours. All right, we're three hours and 20 minutes in. We are at temp. Uh, so now I'm gonna grind the, the beef into the chili for the final step, let it kind of season up in there, and then we're gonna enjoy it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I got a little, little more grease on here than I want, so I'm gonna take some of that off. It's flavor, so I don't wanna take too much of it. Just a little bit of that off, kinda of skim the top. It's gonna be so good. It smells amazing in here. And I'm gonna leave it right on the rack. I took the probe out, I'm gonna leave the meatball right on the rack. But I'm gonna take this potato masher and I'm gonna just grind it up, if I can. I guess we're going all the full three pounds. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we would, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it work. All right, that is a lot of meat, and uh, hey, we like meat around here. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, we might have to transfer uh, to a slightly larger container. I think I underestimated a little bit. It's all good, it's part of the fun. <laughs> Oh man, hold on, I'm getting light at it. All right, um, what I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a little bit of this meat aside. <laughs> because, oh my goodness, we got at least three or four meals in here. Hey, that looks great though. <laughs> that, that chili's gonna stick to your ribs, baby. It's gonna be so good. Again, this was three pounds of ground beef. I, I was shooting for one, one to two, and uh, we kind of exceeded expectations there. So I'm gonna take a little out, use that in something else. I'm sure it would be delicious. This is a meat chili with a little bit of tomatoes and beans. That's why we try these. We do these things so you don't have to do this, right? So you can take the lessons learned from me. We can decide, we can put it back in, let it go for a little while. Uh, we can add a little more beef broth to kind of thin it out. Depends on what you want, really thick, thin. All right, so here it is. We're ready to eat. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see what we got here. It looks good. It's nice and thick and chunky. Get a piece of that meat from over the top. Oh man, it really is good. It's got a depth of flavor. It's The smoke is not really up front. It's there, it's present, but it's not overpowering. It's really delicious. All right, so this is a version of over the top chili indoors, smoked indoors. So. I just went with, you know, some things that sounded interesting to me. Make this your own. You can do this with any chili recipe, your favorite one, pick it out. Uh, really, it's about the method, smoking the meat over the chili, whatever that chili base is. You'll notice we didn't add garnishes. We were just cooking the chili to see what that tastes like with the, the indoor smoker. But this would be really amazing if you garnished it with some cheese, maybe sour cream, some free Fritos or tortilla chips. Uh, just kind of make it your own, but I'm telling you, this is a fantastic pot of chili. Okay, so hopefully this was different. Don't forget we've got a Facebook group that you can join. It's very active, people sharing what they're doing. See the link below to join that. So let us know if you wanna see some other recipes. We're having a blast doing these, laughing along with you in some cases. So look forward to seeing your feedback, thanks. <laughs>